welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the heresies that have surfaced throughout the history of the Church, and today, we're talking about Pelagianism. Born in the year 360 AD, Pelagius was a theologian who held a strange theory about divine grace. In his view, divine grace consisted of human free will, the law of Moses, and the teachings of Jesus. Now, a lot of people say that Pelagius believed that people can be saved without grace through works alone, and if we take him at his word, that's not literally true. Nevertheless, it is certainly correct that he didn't believe in St. Augustine's doctrine of original sin, that man's state of sinfulness comes from the fall of Adam. Pelagius didn't believe that there was anything about human nature that made it impossible for people to fulfill the law of God perfectly without any further supernatural aid. In support of his claims, Pelagius cited Deuteronomy, where we read, The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, nor the children for the fathers, but everyone shall die for his own sin. Deuteronomy 24.16 The problem is, that verse was written to outline the laws of Israel. When discussing the law of God, we read, For I am the Lord thy God, a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon their children unto the third and fourth generation to them that hate me, and showing mercy unto many thousands to them that love me and keep my commandments. Deuteronomy 5, 9b-10 Furthermore, the topic that Pelagius brought up, of there being no special kind of grace within man himself apart from human free will, was addressed long before by St. Paul. And I live, now not I, but Christ liveth in me. Galatians 2, 20a. Pelagius was declared a heretic at the Council of Carthage, and his understanding of free will became known as the heresy of Pelagianism. Sadly, many Pelagians went even further than Pelagius himself, directly claiming that grace was not needed, and in a later part of the 5th century, a sort of semi-Pelagianism came into existence as well, which claimed that, yes, humans still need the grace of God to do right and be saved, but we can just sort of reach out for that grace and take it under our own power. Furthermore, semi-Pelagianism claimed that once we were in a state of grace, we could stay in that state through our own efforts without any more grace from God. This, of course, was yet another heretical view. However, it wouldn't take long for more errors to crop up. For the next episode, we don't need to go very far forward in time. We're going to drop in on Archbishop Nestorius of Constantinople. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.